If you guys are looking for a cheap and simple small group snowball base, then this is literally perfect for your next Rust adventure. I present you guys with the Raptor. Have you ever wanted to create your own personal Rust server for you or any of your friends? Well, if you said yes to this, then you need to check out Pine Hosting. Not only can you make a high performance server within minutes on Pine, everything about the creation process is super easy to follow and use. They also have servers all across the world and their prices are super affordable. Installing the plugins for your server is also something that you can do within a few clicks of your mouse. And if anything gets messed up along the way, do not worry as Pine has AI detection that fixes any errors within seconds. And the best part about all this that I told you is that you can get 30% off with code secret. Make sure to use the link in the description below and once again thank you to pine hosting for sponsoring today's video yo what is up everybody welcome back to the base design video today we have the raptor now this small group design is going to be a solo duo and even trio based design it has a lot of room and it's like a snowball two by one i guess you can call it um it has no wide gaps it's two external tcs and it has some breach peaks some compound outpost style stuff so we're keeping it up to the metas but yeah let's get right into it i don't want to have to explain anything else um, stepping off this mini store disconnectable, we get the upkeep on one of two external TCs. As you can see, extremely cheap, less than 2,000 materials in each. And once again, simple disconnect here. Just place a roof and reconnect it with a frame. Stepping in the gatehouse, we have a peak off to the left and right side, and you also have a 180 degree peak out to the door campers. Very simple stuff here. And as you can see, when we look up to the base, you're going to see no wide gap angles, just some really cool window peaks. We have uh, four large furnaces in the compound here, and we have a mini outpost thing here with two beds on each side, so a total of four beds in the compound with lockers. And we have a breach peak thing here with a turret. And usually you would leave this open just to have this little funnel ring. But if you don't want raiders running around in your compound or little grubs in your compound, just open these up and nobody can get through them. Now as we step into one of the four entrances into the shell, we get a peek out to the compound through a half height peak. This will hold your compound wall nice if you get breached in, um, if they rocket through the wall. Now we have respawns, you can place boxes or whatever you guys would like in this ring, it's not that big of a deal but you have a lot of space. And as I said, this is a two by one design, so it's gonna be a quick up and over two by one. And the second story is gonna be actually the main loot. So if we break these, these are gonna be the bunkers. We have a lot of loot storage, I think around 40 boxes. Um, and to get into the bunkers, all you're gonna wanna do is place a roof like so. This will probably be twig. And you have four boxes in here. Um, and once you break that, it'll go back up. But yeah, a lot of loot storage. And just a lot of spacious loot up here. And this base is actually really, really efficient. Um, cost efficient through doors. Um, just because of the amount of up and overs you have to go through. And stepping down into the actual core. As I said, it's a 2 by one starter. And this will be the main upkeep on TC. As you can see, it's not even that bad. 8k stone and 9k metal. For the build cost, it's not that bad. And this is with all deployables, all garage doors, all boxes, and all everything in the base. Stepping out of here. We're going to take this all the way up to our second and third story. Our third story is going to be the main shooting floor slash retake floor. We got some beds up here. I skipped this one because it would mess up the mobility. And on two different corners, we have these little shoots on the corner with little peaks out. Very, very cheeky and very hidden. You could fit two boxes and a bed and a locker. As I said, it is on two sides. And over here, we have the main retake floor with windows peeking down into the compound and even out to the far. And we have a breach peak style thing here as well. And there's a turret on both of the breach peak sides just to cover the entire shooting floor area. Taking this jump up, up to roof. We have a mini inner roof with beds and lockers. And taking this out, we have a very simplistic roof. Now these give you a nice wide gap, almost angle down to retake. Really cool angles here. And you just have a normal roof peak out to the far range. And you have four turrets on the roof 
So two on parallel sides and two there. As I said, very cost efficient, very simple base. Now let's get right into the tutorial so you guys can build this for your next wipe. Let's go.
Thank <laughs> you. 